Hello guys, I'm Andre, a certified translator and a real estate concierge here in Minsk, Belarus. And today we're talking about application for a visa at Minsk National Airport. The flights are scarce, but still it's one of the options to get a visa. And some of you, especially my clients who are relocating to Belarus or who are on a business trip to Belarus, may need a visa. Airport is one of the solutions. The airport has a consulate, which, however, does not accept papers if you're flying in from Russia. So Russia is no good connection. So if you're flying from wherever it's possible to fly from, except from Russia, you can apply for a visa prepared by your business partner, be that myself or someone else, prepared by your friends or relatives, that would be a private visa, or by a travel agency if uh, you are on a tour. Of course, the tariff, if you have a consulate in your home country, will be higher. For instance, for Americans who are no longer eligible for visa-free, as you know, it's 180 euro or equivalent. The consulate kindly asks to have some change because uh, now that euro is uh, euro equivalent of this amount of money is uh, under 200 bucks, they're short of fibers to, to, to accommodate you, basically. So that may be a bit of a bugger. In spite of some wrinkles last year, to put it mildly, of course, the uh, visa process is smooth, fast. Several clients of mine just went through. American Canadian citizens, there's no, uh, let's say, discrimination in this respect. As long as your papers are straight and the visa form and everything is in place, insurance, of course, the um, consulate is happy to see you in for whatever reasons you're in, of course. Well, let's start from the basics. The basics would be visa at the airport consulate must not be confused with visa-free mode through the airport. These are two different things. The description for the visa-free mode is at the uh, video description, the link. To put it short, there's no free visa at the airport. There's either visa-free mode that ties your arrival and departure to the airport, about 30 days apart or less, or arrival on a visa, which may be longer than 30 days, which allows you to leave over land, which is one of the reasons that people may be applying for one. Airport consulate is fairly strict in all bureaucratic senses of this uh, phrase, and the paperwork must be solid. So uh, in my case, these are business invitations to my clients, and they must be supplied several working days ahead of your arrival. I'll put the details under the video. That must be uh, normally just an invitation, sometimes a service contract, depending on the citizenship of the applicant. Citizens may require some additional paperwork, let's say people from Asian countries with uh, uh, different migration risks, let's say. There, there's not official list of that, it's just an unwritten understanding of this. Will require extra paperwork. To those who submit the papers, the uh, uh, deadline uh, may be a bit of a problem because, for instance, private, private invitation takes a couple of weeks uh, of uh, processing time at the migration office unless you pay express fee and collect it over the same day. So uh, if somebody is inviting a friend through the national airport, it's logistically not the best option. A tourist visa may be an easier solution. Once your inviting host has dropped off the papers at the consulate, which is uh, only available for that, only open for that uh, between 11 and 13 o'clock, do not confuse it with your side of the homework. You can apply for visa 24-7, no matter when your flight, flight is landing. So 11 to 13 o'clock on the working days is just a delivery time when the consular employee can check out the papers and put a stamp saying that such and such person has the right to apply but doesn't have a guarantee of 100% uh, getting a visa. Normally when they put this stamp, this is a 99% guarantee of uh, success, but uh, generally it's a stamp to allow you to board the plane, not to exactly get the visa 100%. And with this scanned, uh, printed out uh, invitation copy, you board the flight in your country or in Istanbul or wherever and land here to present papers to apply for the visa, which is basically very simple. To apply for the visa, you first have to make it to the window. There's no big deal. There's no horrendous line like in the previous years. You just walk upstairs before the passport control, before. Because if your passport allows you to go through visa-free, you may be hassled there, just, you know, confused, maybe after a long flight or something, you'll be checked in without visa, and then you'll just have to make it a visa-free visit. You can't come back and say, guys, oh, sorry, I need a visa. So you just walk upstairs to the second floor with a very obvious visa window, visa billboard, and present them your visa form, which you print on two sides of one piece of paper. 
the link uh, to the uh, form is under the video. The photograph, passport size photograph, 35 by 45 millimeters, must be a photo booth thing, not some home Photoshop job or something like this. A consular fee in cash and crisp bills, 180 euro if you don't, ha if you have a consulate in your home country or less, depending on your nationality, if there's no consulate in your country or the dollar equivalent. There's ATM in the arrivals, but the foreign cards these days are not very cooperative, so you may want to have some cash for the visa and for your pocket money's sake. And uh, the invitation is already at the consulate and your insurance. You can get it online. I'll put the link down below. That's it. Within, say, 20 minutes without any, you know, too creative questions, without any Cold War treatment normally, you are through with your visa and you are rolling to town. Of course, you may arrange your transfer in advance, uh, be that me or some other provider, or you may just rely on Yandex Go, downloading the app at the airport, getting a SIM, getting an app, and uh, taking your now about 15 to 20 dollar rides to central Minsk. Thank you very much for watching the channel. I hope you'll have safe flights and uh, shop responsibly, of course. When we talk about real estate, travel wisely, safely, and I hope to see you in Minsk someday. Cheers.